everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I'm just recording this episode right after last week's. Um, we're continuing the construction here and the Mankeys are kind of refusing to work until we give them a chestnut. <laughs> Good morning, Emma. Let's boost the Mankey's, Mankey Gang's morale with a peeled chestnut. We can find chestnuts in Uproar Forest. I already have one. I just have to figure out how to peel it, I guess. Okay, so what's that about? Pokemon News Extra 2, Emma Innocent Part 2. <laughs> Quote from Charizard on the scene. That's what I thought right from the start, ha ha ha. Yeah, that's why you're gonna kill me, dude. Quote from Tyranitar on the scene. That muck-reeking Gengar, he's not getting away with this. He'd better be ready for it. That's funny. Then we have number 13, game options. Change your options to suit your playstyle. Press X to open the menu, choose others, then choose game options. You can change settings to suit the way you play. And then we got a little request, so we'll take that. All right, so these dudes are hopefully gonna accept this chestnut I have. Huh, did you bring us a peeled chestnut? Oh, a chestnut! We want a peeled chestnut. Come on, give it to us. We'll work hard for it. Give. Emma peeled off the spiny shell and handed the peeled chestnut over. Yes, a peeled chestnut! <laughs> the clapping. Alright, you layabouts. Get it together. Chop chop. Why don't you quit lounging around yourself? Get moving. We'll get hustling on renovating your rescue team base. We'll carry the materials and get the place built. Double click. You just wait. I don't know how many times it takes before it's fully built. And so, supplied with another peeled chestnut, the Mankey Gang got motivated and returned to work on the rescue team base's renovation. As a result, the rescue team base's completion moved a little closer. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have to get them one more. At least one more time. Um... To me, it looks how it just looked. It doesn't look any different. <laughs> um, I wonder what you have to say. Let's see. Wobbuffet! Very surprising. Very surprising. Um, <laughs> that's all he says. Uh, I'll help more too. I'll spit silk to glue more things together. We're going to work hard. We'll finish the rescue team base. Okay, cool. Um, let me sort all my stuff as usual. Okay, so it looks like we did not have a Venonat, so I will be naming this one. Alright, I named her Candy. And do we have any gummies? We don't. Okay, cool. I think that's the only Pokemon we recruited in the last part. So now let me head to the square. Okay, so I have sorted all my stuff, and really the only thing to do now is to go on missions. And Uproar Forest is the main thing we're supposed to be doing because we're supposed to get chestnuts, but um, we don't have any jobs for there. So I don't know if I should maybe do some other missions first and just kind of skip through them like I have in past episodes because it's not storyline related. I think I will do that um, and just see if we end up getting any actual missions in Uproar Forest. If we don't, by the next in-game day, then I'll just go to Uproar Forest. <laughs> um, just so we can get another chestnut and move along this storyline, but I am gonna go to Silent Chasm. These all have strong foes? Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Silent Chasm, and I'm gonna bring Somebody else. I don't know why Cheddar is on there instead of Oreo. That's kind of weird. Uh, I feel like I should bring kimchi or another fire type, like maybe apple. He doesn't know any fire type moves. I'm gonna bring kimchi, and I don't think we've brought her on a mission so far, so I'll pop in and let you know if anything actually interesting happens, if we run into the strong foe or anything like that or a monster house. <laughs> but other than that, I will be just kind of skipping through these missions because they're not really related to the storyline and you've seen this dungeon before. So, yeah. 
Kimchi just leveled up to 12. Kimchi is now level 13, and as you can see, we've got... Oh, it's trying to learn Flame Wheel. That's actually awesome. Uh, we'll get rid of Growl. Cool. And as you can see, we have two Hound Hours that have tagged along for now. I'll only be choosing one of them um, to actually keep, but... Ooh, so I just recruited a Spinarak with a new rare quality called Throne Item Boost. Spikes and stones are powered up. On top of that, enemies won't be able to catch items. Rare qualities affect your whole- Why do I always read the last sentence that always says rare qualities affect your whole team? <laughs> uh. Okay, so this is actually the last Pokemon we need to rescue, but I am going to go through the whole Silent Chasm just because... Um... We actually need- why won't it let me face this thing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, I actually want to fight the um, strong foe in here because it's just kind of cool. So I'm going to keep going until I find it. Um, even though I'm done with all my missions here. Okay, so I'm kind of confused because we went through the whole Silent Chasm and I couldn't find the strong bow that was supposedly there. I went through all the floors, whatever. Okay, so we have this hound hour, level 14. You know, I, I can't really um, look at both of them at the same time, so I'm just gonna accept them and look at them later and then pick nicknames for them. So one of them two is gonna be on our team. And then we got the Spinarak, and it has that cool Throne Item Boost thing. We also got another Dustox. I'm pretty sure the one I have is probably better than this one, but we're gonna just compare the two. And we got a Beedrill, which is kind of crazy. It also has Squad Up. Um, it's kind of crazy because we have a Weedle and I feel like I might have to get rid of the Weedle. <laughs> but that Weedle was the first Weedle we- I mean the first Pokemon we ever recruited so I kind of don't want to. Uh, I just realized that. <laughs> like I kind of want to evolve my own Weedle. Just because it was the first one, you know? Let's see what we got from today's haul. We got a Bank Orb. Ooh. Does that mean you get more money? Because if so, I'm going to definitely use that in the next dungeon. Looks like we're a quarter of the way done with bronze rank. Aw, I love that this Wurmple was the one asking us to save this wheel. Ooh, a gold ribbon. That'll be nice. I'm trying to save up more money for the Pokemon camps because now we're down to the more expensive ones. Aw, and then these two also look like they would actually be BFFs. Like, two pinchy beetle type things. <laughs> Okay. Ah, this this is almost like um the first rescue mission you do with the Butterfree and then saving the baby, <laughs> the baby Caterpie. This was Beedrill's baby Weedle. That's so cute. Okay. Um, we got another Dojo ticket. We are almost halfway done now with Bronze Rank. Look at the little, look at the little skitty on the house. I love it. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing again. So the next morning, it's probably just going to be kind of stuck at this point until you actually bring chestnuts to the Mankey. So we'll see. Good morning, Emma. Let's boost the Mankey gang's morale with a peeled chestnut. We can find chestnuts in Uproar Forest. Yeah, I know. I just, like, I just want there to actually be a mission for us to do there, so we're not just only going there to get chestnuts, you know? Um, let's see. So we have some Pokemon news. Number 14, Wonder Tiles. Wonder Tiles reset attack and defense. If your attack is lowered by a foe's growl, for example, the affected stat can be reset to normal by stepping on a Wonder Tile or by going to the next floor. Beware, though, enhanced stats are also reset to normal. Isn't it kind of funny that Pokemon news is mostly just tips on how to play the game? 
A gift from the rescue organization. Um, a gift from the rescue organization to a hard worker like you. Try to power up by using the enclosed bronze dojo tickets at the Makuhita Dojo. Well, that's nice. Got two more bronze dojo tickets. And then we got a request for a lapis cave. Alright, so let me go sort through our little buddies in the camps. Because now there's a situation. <laughs> I just like... I know that I said I don't want to keep more than one of the same Pokemon on the team. And that applies to like their whole um, evolution line. So like I don't want to have a ma like a Mankey and a Primate, for example. Or like Noodle and then Beedrill. But Noodle was the very first Pokemon we recruited. Like he was the first. So I just, I'm making an exception for him and I'm going to keep him and um, actually evolve him. And I'm actually gonna let this Beedrill go. I know that's kind of weird, but like, I just, oh no! <laughs> Look at the little upset face they make. That's so sad. If you say farewell, you won't be able to take them on an adventure. Is it okay to say farewell? Let's see what happens. Beedrill left again. Oh no, I feel super bad. <laughs> All right, so now let me compare uh, pain. Pancake is 32, and this new one we got is level 11. Yeah, we're getting rid of this one. I'm so, I feel so bad. Oh no. <laughs> look at how depressed they look. Okay, you're leaving. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is so sad. I just want to like pretend in my head that they're choosing to leave because they're just moving. Okay, they're just, they're moving to a new, I don't know, city far away from here. <laughs> Okay, I feel too bad like legit kicking them out of the team like Isn't that so cruel? I feel bad Okay, anybody else? Oh, we have to look at these two hound arrows. I feel really bad <laughs> All right, so level 14. They're, they're both level 14. I remember that um, And then we have early bird and No rare quality Okay and then this hound hour has flash fire, which I kind of like, and also no rare quality. Uh, I'm sorry, but I kind of want this one. I like flash fire better, so oh my god, it's gonna be so sad the whole face. No! <laughs> Look at his little sad face. I hate it. Alright, I'm sorry, dude. You're moving, you're moving on. Oh, I gotta I gotta name this hound hour. Okay, I named him Tamale. <laughs> We have a lot of dogs on the team, don't we? We gotta name this Spinarak. Lime. Cause it's green. Alright, so they're all sorted out. Oh, okay, so apparently this bank orb gives you access to the bank in the dungeon, so it's like a little mobile banking orb. That's so random. I guess you could use it to um, deposit your money if you're thinking like you might fail and lose all your money. Um, I'll probably save that for like a harder dungeon. All right, so we actually have enough um, money to get either one of these four camps. I just usually get the cheapest ones first, cause why not? Um, and yeah, I think I do want to get the crater. We'll be able to get a bunch of fire types. Cool. And real quick, I'm going to deposit this money and then do my dojo trainings. And I'll just update you if we gain any levels or whatever. A monster house! Oh my god. I'm always like running out of time whenever I have run into one of these. Well, yeah. <laughs> I still did better than the last couple ones, though. Come on! Good stuff. Are you serious? What? Guys, I literally missed the Thunderbolt four times in a row. Crazy. <laughs> well, that sucked. I killed like 
two or three things, that's it. <laughs> wow! Well, I finally leveled up. Um, I'll use the last one on Basil. Hopefully she'll level up. But she might not, because it's just a bronze one. Though she usually gets quite a bit when she does the grass maze. Because she can use Razor Leaf, which is super useful. She can hit tons of enemies from far away. I have no range moves on myself, so... Yay, she did level up. But she's only one level behind me now. So the last thing I'm going to do is just grab whatever jobs I can from the bulletin board and then we'll go and grab a chestnut. I keep looking at this thing every day just to see if something actually happens. <laughs> so far it hasn't. I don't know. So there's no jobs for um, the actual place we have to go to. So I guess we're just gonna say screw it and go get a chestnut. <laughs> I wanna bring Noodle along. I know it's so random to bring freaking Weedle, but I just, I'm feeling very like nostalgic about the first Pokemon that we recruited. And I just feel bad about even thinking about getting rid of Noodle <laughs> from that Beedrill. I also feel bad for the Beedrill and all the ones we got rid of, but it's fine. Okay, so. We are literally just here to find chestnuts. Um, hopefully there's a guarantee of finding one. Uh, because if not, that'll be annoying. Although, I don't know how many floors are in this dungeon. Um, because we only had to go to the fourth floor for the Mankey uh, mission. But I guess we will find out. I should probably just go through the entire thing. Because we should probably find as many as we can. There could be more than one chestnut on... Um, in one like go through of the dungeon but actually i feel like i remember that you can only get the chestnut at the very end of the dungeon um unless i'm remembering that wrong from the old games but I f i'm kind of feeling like that's what it was it's like once you get to the very end of it then there's a chestnut just sitting there maybe not i don't know <laughs> i feel like i remember that um i don't know but we'll see i guess Jeez, how many times am I gonna attack? <laughs> uh, as long as I have auto mode, I can always like make sure I get all the items on the floor. I'm thinking that's a Kecleon shop right there. Um, I don't think I'll need to buy a chestnut, but I kind of just want to look in it and see if that's a thing. You know what's funny is Noodle, um, since since when you recruit things they start gaining experience points even if they're not in the dungeon with you, Noodle's a much higher level than the bee trill that we recruited to. Let me just check the shop real quick. I just want to see if they have a chestnut. No! Oh my god, I forgot Automo doesn't like bring you to the actual shop. What's up, dude? You have chestnuts? No? Alright. Roselia wants to join us. I was so hoping this would join us. I don't know if we have the camp for it. Uh, I guess we do. Yay. Okay. Last time we found a chestnut on this floor. The third floor. Uh, oh, we got one. So we could technically leave, but I honestly just want to see how long this dungeon even is. Uh, sure, you can use the cherry berry on me. It's not like we ever use them, so <laughs> I might as well use it. By the way, I know that technically the first Pokemon we recruited 
was Nutmeg the Magnemite, but I just meant the first one we recruited in a dungeon without it being a storyline, like, automatic- Whoa! Razor Wind. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, I just meant the first one we recruited, like, on our own without the storyline actually just giving the Pokemon to us. I wonder if we can find more than one chestnut, though. That's what I'm trying to do here. So that's why I'm going to go to multiple floors and just kind of see how long the whole dungeon is. And then it might only be four floors. Like, that'd be kind of weird, though. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But if I can get more than one, it'll be really useful because then I can go through two... Like, if I get two chestnuts, I'll be able to go through the next two stages of building. Oh, there are only four floors. Okay. Cool. I guess you can only get one then per trip. We'll probably have to make another trip there. Um, yay, Rosalia! I'm so excited. Yes, you can join us. And I think I already have a name in mind. I'm gonna call her Macaron, and that's because the first actual rose-flavored food item I've ever had was a macaron. I've also had rose-flavored ice cream. It's really freaking good. You should try it if you haven't. Um, so yeah, she's gonna be macaron, not to be confused with macaroons, those are two different things. <laughs> Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. The next morning, let's run out and give this, uh, chestnut to the manky. Good morning, Emma. Let's boost the Mankey Gang's morale with a peeled chestnut. We can find it. Yeah, we know. All right. <laughs> oh, we're getting some more mail. Guess we'll open that before we give them the chestnut. So we got another bronze, or another two bronze dojo tickets. Or silver ones. J jeez. That's crazy. <laughs> I wonder how many times they give you those. Um, and then number 15, pole. Top two items. First, a gravel rock. Second, orenberry. In a nationwide survey involving rescue teams, the most popular item was found to be gravel rock. According to Sudowoodo of Team Fakers, <laughs> it lets you attack from far away. It's invaluable. The next most popular item was orenberry. I would say those are pretty accurate. I mean, I don't use gravel rocks that often, but I do like to use them when I when I find them. Okay, well, we'll take this. Uh, oh, we can't take your request yet, dude. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go give this chestnut to these guys. Huh? Did you bring us a peeled chestnut? Oh, a chestnut. We want a peeled chestnut. Come on, give it to us. We'll work hard for it. Give. Emma peeled off the tiny shell, or the spiny shell, and handed the peeled chestnut over. Yes, a peeled chestnut. All right, you layabouts, get it together, chop chop. Why don't you quit lounging around yourself? Get moving. Do they just say the same exact thing? We'll get hustling on renovating your rescue team base. We'll carry out in the materials and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. All right, same thing. And so, supplied with another peeled chestnut, the Mankey gang got motivated and returned to work on the rescue team base's renovation. As a result, the rescue team base's completion moved a little closer. A little closer. Oh my god, it still looks the same, so we're gonna have to do that at least one more time. <laughs> um, alright. Well. Let me do the same exact thing. Sort some stuff out. I'm gonna do this one silver maze on me. I guess we only got one silver dojo ticket. And then after that, we're gonna go back in for another freaking chestnut. Okay, and I leveled up to level 37. And I'm trying to learn, what was that heal ball? Your bell. <laughs> uh, if you and your teammates are in the, in the same room, how many guys? That's kind of cool, but I don't think it's worth it because we have so many items that Honestly, it's kind of pointless, you know? It's not pointless, it's just meh. Just because like your teammates will automatically use items to heal anyone on the team's like status conditions. 
I usually keep at least one of each status type move with me. So yeah, it could be useful, but I'm like, meh, I'd rather have more damaging kind of moves. All right, so let's go get another freaking chestnut. <laughs> Don't know how many times we're gonna have to do this, but this time, who should we bring? I kinda wanna bring Tamale. Okay. Ooh, a monster house in an actual dungeon. And now this could actually be a little dangerous, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, we have this Nuzzly chilling on our team right now, by the way. Great, now I'm confused. <laughs> oh no, I hate the Nuzzly, I'm so sorry. It's getting confused, I probably shouldn't have done that. Um. I'm gonna use the Revival Seed just because I kinda wanna get this thing. And I leveled up to Molly to 15. Let me at least move away from my teammates so I won't do any damage to them. Now I'm paralyzed and confused. Jeez! And my accuracy is hard. <laughs> These monster houses are so crazy, but you can get so many experience points if you can survive them, at least. Um, I will use the cherry berry. Thank you, dude. Good thing about my linked moves that I really like, um, and I have to use, a, obviously, a reviver seed. But the good thing is- ooh, now I'm not confused anymore. The good thing is I can hit anyone around me, so right now I can hit- all three of those in front of me, and also, even if I was confused, I could hit them because it doesn't matter which direction I'm facing. So, yeah, even if I did not just faint and get unconfused, um, I would have been fine. Basil needs to get in here. Leslie, why don't you stop blocking the way? Because she would be doing some help in here. Actually, you're wasting all my tiny viruses, which is kind of annoying. I expected to waste them in here because. I mean, if you go in the monster houses, you're gonna be wasting some, like, straight up. Uh, I have a Venonat, but I'll let this one join just so it can, um, fight with us. <laughs> and, ooh, I should register my spikes or whatever thorns I have. Whoa, oh my gosh. That's crazy. You know what? Screw the Nuzleaf. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. You're just waste. You wasted two of our things. Two of our seeds. Let me register this. And now hopefully these two will actually come in and help us. Uh, the Venonat. Uh, we're not going to use one. <laughs> like I said, um, I already have a Venonat. I will use one for Tamale though. I think that was our last one though, so now I'm kind of worried. Oh crap. I don't know. <laughs> Scared. I should probably use an armory, but like, I just want to finish this. Okay, we're good. We're gonna. Um, oh no. <laughs> uh, I will use an armory. I don't want to risk this. Let me just check. Yeah, see, we have no more reviver seeds. So let me eat this. I'm surprised none of them offered to give me one. Oh no. Somali's out. I just noticed that. I guess if they faint and they're already on your team, they just like leave the dungeon. But if it was your partner that fainted or you, then obviously you would like, full on be kicked out of the dungeon. Yay, we did it! Oh my god. We just barely freaking survived that monster house. That was fun. <laughs> and we got, I don't know, we got quite a bit of experience for it, so I'm not too mad about it. Wait, this looks like that thing. Yes. I like how the monster house music lasts <laughs> for the whole floor. Alright. Any chestnuts over here? Nope, just more money. Maybe they're always on the third floor. So far they all have been. All the ones I've found anyway. I feel bad for Tamali. She's only level 14. I mean he whatever. It doesn't the Pokemon don't really have genders except for you and your partner, but Oh, we were only on the first floor? Jeez. Yay, found the chestnut. I guess they can be on not just the third floor, because obviously we're on the second. Um, whoa, dude, calm down. 
Yeah, so this is the first time we've actually lost Pokemon who tried to join our team in the middle of the dungeon. So we'll find out if we're still allowed to keep them or if they're like just not going to join our team now. I don't know. It's never happened, so I don't know. Yeah, I was, I was killed many times in monster houses in the past. I gotta remember to use one of these tiny apples at the very beginning. Because if you use it on your full belly at the beginning, um, then you get boosted belly capacity for that mission or whatever. Oh, we actually found two chestnuts, so we can get more than one. It's good to know. Now we won't have to come out here again. I'm assuming- oh, the sea dot wants to join us, sure. Oh, hey look! Tamale's there again. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, it looks like if they faint before you get through the dungeon, they will not offer to join your team. That's what it seems like. So we'll take this C dot. I don't think I have one anyway. Um, yeah. Toast the C dot. <laughs> Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. All right, I've been recording over an hour, but I am going to continue just because after I make cuts and stuff, this I know this video is not gonna be too, too long. I do just want to give them at least one more chestnut and um, see about the progress of this freaking base. I don't know how many more times I'm gonna have to do it. Maybe two more, but I already have two chestnuts, so. We'll just try to get through this in this episode. Okay, they're just gonna do the same exact dialogue, so I'm not gonna bother reading it. I'm just gonna kind of mash A through this. And so, supplied with another peeled chestnut, the Banky Gang got motivated and returned to work on the rescue team base's renovation. And finally, oh, we're done. The rescue team base was completed. Oh my god, look at it! It's the cutest thing ever! Sniff! <laughs> Imagine living in a house that's just like modeled after your own face. <laughs> like, kind of makes me look full of myself, but it's still a cute house. Sniff, finally! This day has finally arrived! Emma, it's finally ready! Our Pink Bond's rescue team base! It's so cute! Ooh, so cool. No matter how you look at it, our rescue team base is just way too cool. <laughs> it's a resemblance to you is a nice touch, Emma. We all worked very hard. How did that like drawing of my face turn into the whole building being shaped like my face? <laughs> it was very hard, but it was worth it. Wobbuffet! Sniff, everyone, thank you. Say there, there's something I want to ask. If this rescue team base is finished, does that mean- does that maybe mean you won't bring us peeled chestnuts anymore? Ha ha ha, of course. We're finished with work on our rescue team base. To our Mankey gang. Sincerely, thank you for everything. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Are they gonna destroy it? Wh what Oh no. <laughs> no! Wow, what are you doing? Stop that! As a result of everyone's desperate effort efforts to stop the Mankey Gang, the rescue team base was saved. As for the Mankey Gang, they promised to keep from rampaging. In return for more peeled chestnuts, they returned to their forest. And that is how the chaotic renovation of the rescue team base came to an end. <laughs> Next morning. Ooh, look at my poppin' mansion I got going on. Just kidding, it's not a mansion, but 
Look at this. Why is there like a little extra bed here? Who's who's gonna sleep here? It's like a guest bed. That's so cute. And I have my little table with berries, my water dish. It kind of looks the same, except maybe a little bit bigger. It might not even be bigger. I might be wrong. I feel like it looks bigger though. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!